What's up guys, welcome to episode 1 of Road to H Queen set from scratch. If you guys aren't already subscribed or you guys haven't liked the video, please feel free to do it right now, although it's optional. But this is a series where I aim to get the H Queen set from scratch and the items that I'll be using I'm getting all from scratch and the the specific quest items or items that take a ridiculously long amount of time I'm going to be unlocking them with uh, GP but it's not going to be a willy nilly like 1 mil it'll be like 10 mil for the void set stuff like that well without further ado I'm going to give you guys the rules and then we can get started into the video so we'll see you guys soon So those are the basic rules of the series. If I feel like I wasn't detailed enough or I need to add another rule, I will in the future, but let's get on to the changes in my bank. So the very first thing is that you'll notice that all of my money's in here. I have zero GP right now, and these are all quest items or things that I, um, you know, I have. These 56 energy, they're just not notable, so you know, I just really couldn't be asked to throw them away, so yeah. These are all of the gear that I, this is all of the gear that I've earned previously and I'll be unlocking it with GP if I want to use it. If I don't want to use it then I'm not going to unlock it and I therefore won't be able to obviously use it. In my summoning tab, nothing has really changed. I mean, I'm not going to be using any of this stuff, so I don't really see a point in um, me, uh, throwing any of it away. This is my Solomon's tab. There's not really too much to it, and it's basically just where I keep my Solomon stuff. Now, this is where a lot of you guys might be like, whoa, 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 line, there's no way you caught 394 Atlanta Dime Seeds. <laughs> uh, well, obviously, but this is for a loot from video that you guys will see later. Um, anything that's changed in this tab, I will let you guys know, although most of my progress will be documented, so you guys will know that I'm not cheating. This is the pots tab that I'm not going to use. It's just that I really don't think or deem it necessary to throw away all these overloads. And um, yeah, they're not notable. So, mm. and then you guys might be like, whoa, 51 sharks, you guys, you can't do that. Um, <clears throat> I actually had to pre-record this or re-record this intro because my um, fraps was all like, hey, do I want to record your audio? Heck no. So I had to re-record this, but this should be the first clip. You guys will see right after this, I am going to Catherby and I'm going to fish some uh, sharks. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. This is pre-recorded. What's up guys, I teleported to Catherby and I decided to do a bit of fishing because I feel like it would be a skill that I can cheat on because I do have a dragon hatchet and a dragon pickaxe so woodcutting and mining are out of the question. They're in my tool belt and it wouldn't be fair to use them as they are a significantly <laughs> a significant um, amount over so that kind of sucks and um, yeah, so I'm gonna do some fishing and when I'm done, I'm gonna start cooking them. So I'll be right back Okay, what's up guys? I just finished actually cooking for a little bit So what I did was I grabbed my cooking gauntlets as you guys can see right here and I'm going to be doing a bit of cooking now You know what they say about cooking? It's cool. So I'm gonna go cook these um, Shark and then I'll get back to you guys in a second okay guys after thinking what i really wanted to do after a while i saw that um blue dragon scales are actually upwards of 1.5k each so i think i'm gonna go grab a anti-dragon fire shield and then i'm going to go and start picking them so let me just grab a anti-dragon fire shield as you guys can see and blah i want a um <clears throat> So now I'm going to head over to Falador, and I'm going to get some scales. So I'll be right back once I get to the, um, the den. Okay guys, now this is going to be a little um, mini guide, I guess you could say. Um, I don't really pick up the scales in here because, you know, it's not really worth it. I like to go into here and pick up the scales, although they did do a re bleh, visual rework, although I think it's practically the same thing, you just kind of walk around here and um, pick up the 
scales. <laughs> I mean, so I'm gonna go do this for a little bit, and then once I get a sufficient amount of scales, maybe I'll just grind them up. Maybe I won't. I'll see which one ever sells for more, and I'll get back to you guys when I finish that. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, I forgot something that you can do. I'm going to claim my reward at Ellie, and I'm going to get some pack pig familiars. So he just sent them to my bank, and I'm going to go and get them. Now, if there's um, any over 10, then I'm going to go and uh, just um, throw them away if I have any extra. But since I get 10 free a week, I feel like why not use them? They're free familiar, and they hold a lot of space. So I personally think that's fair, although if you guys don't want me to use them in future episodes, I completely understand. As you know, not everybody has them, but um, uh, it's just something that I personally unlocked. So. I'm going to use it this episode. If you guys don't want me to use it, then feel, uh, feel free to tell me. So let me go. Okay, so I have exactly 10 pack pick pouches. So I'm going to go and collect um, some uh, scales. I've already done one inventory. I'm probably going to do maybe two to three hours of it, get a bit of money, and then I'll get back to you guys. So I'll see you guys soon. Be right back. Okay, what's up, guys? So after a long night's sleep, I'm getting back on rest, and I'm going to finish picking up these scales. Now since my BOB is about to die and I've been using it for about maybe one trip, I kind of want to finish just, uh, finish up this inventory and start heading back to the um, bank. I did c manage to collect around, I think it was, um, I think it was a th not a thousand, I think I managed to collect close to 800 scales, which is pretty good for around 50 minutes if I do, do say so myself. Now while it's not um, super amazing, I like to think that it is a lot of money. This is a very good money making method and anybody that really has no requirements can do this. But um, the better the summoning level, the um, more money you're obviously going to make. So I already, fin uh, already filled my BOB so I'm going to start heading back. And one thing that I find funny is with this um, animation, <laughs> I always go like help when um when I teleport in a very uh, populous area. So I'm heading back to the bank now and um, hopefully it won't take too too long. Although heading back to the bank does take some time so la di la di la di la di. So I'm going to check how many skills I actually did manage to accrue although I think it is around 800. Oh okay well I managed to get 777 that's actually extreme luck. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start grinding these because I think they give 200 GP more profit if I actually do grind these. So I'm going to start grinding these. Um, I have a pestle mortar in my uh, tool belt. I think that's with. I think that comes with it. Like everybody gets it. But if it doesn't, I'll, I'll go over to the herb shop and buy one. And you know, um, eh, yeah. So I'm going to continue to grind these. And once I get Oh, okay, sorry. It was a bit of like once I get done grinding all these I'll head over to the GE and see how much profit I make off of these Okay guys, I'm on my last batch of skills. I um <clears throat> It took a lot longer than expected um, The actual process didn't really take that long. It's just that um Since last Sunday my mom was really busy and she didn't really have time to for Mother's Day We just we decided to take her out for brunch or lunch or whatever you want to call it and we had a uh, we had a really nice lunch and I just got back actually um I paid for it so my wallet's kind of flat now and um <laughs> so that kind of sucks but I'm gonna head over to the GE and I'm gonna go sell all these scales um hopefully they'll sell for probably around like couple I think like maybe like one 0.5 mil or something and then that'll give me a lot of money and I can work with that money I think I'm gonna go get a bit of um, summoning stuff I'm gonna get some um, some fruit bat scrolls and some fruit bats and then I'm also going to grab some um, some mineral uh, living minerals and I'm gonna go catch some rock tail too um, I just thought I'd mix it up a bit. This uh, episode isn't really going to be too much on, um, you know, like bossing or getting like billions. It's just going to be starting out me doing skilling, showing that you guys, uh, showing you guys that skilling, it still does work and it still does make a decent amount of money. So we're almost at the GE, and for some reason, this episode might be really laggy because I'm using um, 
Camtasia instead of Fraps. So if you guys notice an evident lag, please feel free to tell me and I'll switch back to Camtasia. Both have been giving me really hard times with the um with the video quality, so it's kind of annoying, but um it's something that I will just have to deal with. So I managed to get 1.9 mil off that, or 1.4 mil off that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some living minerals. Around, I think I'm gonna fish around 400. 400, no let's make it even and get it 500. So I'm gonna have 500 minerals. I'm gonna fish 500 rock tail, and then I'm also gonna use fruit bat. Okay. I think I'm gonna do two, um, two pouches worth. So I don't know how many scrolls that is, I'm just going to guesstimate. I think around 500, wait, fruit fall. If I remember correctly, that's what it's called, fruit fall scrolls, yep. So I'm going to start off with, I think 500 is a good number, and if I need to get more, then I will definitely get more. So I think I'm going to go to, they don't buy. Well, of course, so I'll be right back. Hey, what's up guys? A few of you might be curious on why you're staring at a thumbnail. Um, I'm going to cut this episode at that, and I kind of want to leave it at a little um, cliffhanger, although it's not really much. So in the first episode, I managed to make around 1.5 mil, and it's uh, that's a pretty decent amount. It was just basically showing you guys how you can make money when you have absolutely nothing and um, very basic things. I know sometimes when you get hacked or you spend all of your money, you don't really know what to do. So this is a series to kind of show you guys that and I'll be doing low level content but also high level content to try and please all of you guys. But if you um, have any suggestions, feel free to comment it in the comment section below. Maybe you guys want to counter this saying how much money I've made or how much of this I've done um, just let me know and I'll try to incorporate it into the video, but that's all I have to say for you guys If you guys did enjoy the video feel free to hit that like button And if you guys didn't enjoy the video, please hit that dislike button I want to know what I can do better to make better videos for you guys and um, Stay classy guys. This is line fury signing off